Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll learn about git status command. Yeah. So we will understand how git status command basically works uh, when we should use this command in git uh, using a uh, basically a use case. So here you can see I have just cloned one repository from a remote repository. So I have account on github.com and there you can see I have uh, one repository is called singleton design pattern underscore two and I have created three branches. So master branch of course when you first uh, check in your code then that is marked as default branch is called nothing but master branch from out of master I have created two branches develop and feature branch and feature branch I have cloned in my local machine right and that is completely sync with uh, my remote uh, repository right so first command i am going to check when my local repository is completely sync with the remote repository and when you do git status then what output we get so here you'll see this is telling me git is telling me to nothing to commit working tree clean means our working tree is completely clean clean and sync with our remote repository and that's the output we get when we do git status yeah now let's say if we add some file on this location so git my git uh, is currently pointing to this repository here just i'm going to create a new file and after that we'll issue git status and see what ha what's happening so I, i'm going to create a file using touch command and i'll say my file one dot txt file i'm going to create this so i have created this uh, my file one txt here you can see this file is created now if i do git status right git status then see what output we get so here what we are getting uh my file dot txt is showing as untracked file so untracked file is those files which is not it either added in the staging area or not committed right that is that is uh, called an untracked file so right now this is not going to track by the gate right so if you would like to check in this file on your repository before that you will have to uh, then there are certain steps first of all you need to add this file into your staging area so for that we have a command is called git add and file name yeah so this is called untracked file untracked file is nothing but the newly created file in your work space but you haven't added it in your uh, staging area now to add this file in a staging area we have a command is called git add and then file name yeah so i'm going to add this file into a staging area now if you issue this command git status then now you can see now git is able to track this file now saying that changes to be committed right so basically this file has been added into a staging area right suppose if you want to unstage again or you want to remove from a staging area then you can use git restore command but i want to commit this file right before that let's say this is my existing file which already i have added into uh, basically a staging area now if i go ahead and do some any kind of modification in this file this is my file just i have added just basically i have modified this file and again if you go ahead and if you check let me clear this terminal again i go ahead and i issue this command then here you can see this file at this time is added a staging area and same file is coming under uh, saying that changes not a stages for commit so we have done some modification in the stages file but but we haven't added after after this change we need to add it again in the staging area right so again you have to do git add uh, git add and file name then again whatever changes we have done right after adding this file into a staging area that is going to again put into the staging area so if i do git uh git status then here you can see there is a modified file right so i hope you understood so basically when you do git status means this is showing 
uh, what are the files are untracked file and what are the files are tracked file right so that that that's the basically functionality we do using git status git status is very good command which will give us clear ideas uh, before committing any file uh, we would like to see what are the list of files we are going to commit into the git right so using the git status you can see the list of files modified files or newly created files and and uh, that that gives gives us the preview of the files uh, either newly created or modified files right in our working working uh, working area right in our local repository if we don't want to check in some files by uh, by looking uh, by issuing the git status command right that will give you the clear idea if some of the files you find by mistake you, by mistake you are going to check in right uh, if you do not see if you do not use git status command and directly you do git add and all the all those files you are adding uh, without looking into using git status then there is possibility some of the files which you don't want to commit and by mistake you are committing so git status is the very good command through which you can see what are the files are tracked or non tracked files and what are the files you don't want to basically check in then easily you can uh, basically delete let's say i don't want to i would want to check in this file then simply i can delete manually or you can use uh, basically git rm command as well so here just i have removed that file after that if i do uh, git status then this is telling me this file has been deleted right so again we need to uh, we need to issue this command uh, git add so that uh, th this file has been added that will be also basically this uh, updation has been added into a staging area and now if you do git status then here it, here it is saying that nothing has to be committed because this was the just newly created file this was not basically added into an, our, our remote repository and that's why this is saying that nothing to commit working tree is clean right if you create some file or if you added some file let's say if i added some file in my this just just uh, just to save some time just i'm making change in the java doc itself so singleton design this a singleton uh, let's say design pattern class just i have added now if i go to my this and if i do git status then this is telling me uh, i have done some modification in this java class file apart from there is a, some one git dot git init file so if you want to add both these files or any one of the file then uh, you have to do git add and if you want to add all file then just period you will have to do so this this will basically add all untracking file or tracked file uh, all untracked file into our uh, basically a staging area right and if i do git status then this is saying there are two files have been added into a staging area now if you would want to commit these two files then you have a git commit and then dash m and here you will have to give the commit message right so just i'm going to do my commit so now these two the two files have been added into the local repository if you do git status right then it is telling me uh, i have added two files so this is suggesting me to if you want to publish these two files on the remote repository then use git push after that you will have to do the git push so that these two files will be added into our remote repository so i hope you understood what's the significance of git status command and how we can make use of it guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial